Here is a problem from my math lab in which we need to use their parabola graphing tool. In this problem, we need to use the vertex and intercepts to sketch the graph of the following quadratic function. Then we need to use the graph to identify the function's range. Here's our function f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 8. It says use the graphing tool to graph the equation, but we must use the vertex and one of the intercepts when drawing the graph. So I'm going to have to first find the vertex and one of the intercepts. So let me get some scratch paper out. Here's my function, and I need to compare it to y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So what is the value for a in this case? What number is in front of the x squared we're too efficient to write? Well, a is a 1. b is the coefficient of the x term is a 2. c is the constant term. It is negative 8. To find the vertex, we're going to use the formula x equals negative b over 2a. B is 2 and A is 1, so plugging those values into the formula, I get negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. This is the x-coordinate of the vertex. To find the y-coordinate of the vertex, I have to plug negative 1 into this formula here. So f of negative 1 is negative 1 all squared plus 2 times negative 1 minus 8. And then I simplify that. Negative 1 squared is 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 minus 8. So this lands up at the y-coordinate being negative 9. So my vertex is at negative 1, negative 9. I also need to find one of the intercepts. The problem doesn't specify which. So I'm going to find the y-intercept that is a lot easier to find than the x-intercepts. So we find the y-intercept by setting x equal to 0, which means I plug a 0 in here and here in the equation for f of x. And I get f of 0 is 0 squared plus 2 times 0 minus 8, which is just negative 8. So my y-intercept is 0, negative 8. So in my math lab, you only need two points to graph a parabola. But if you were going to have to do this by hand, you normally graph about five points. Now let's go to my math lab. Click to enlarge the graph. I need to graph a vertical parabola, not a horizontal one. So you click the vertical parabola tool. Make sure the solid line is selected, not the dotted line. And then we need to plot the vertex of the parabola first. Please notice the coordinates are shown over on the far right. Those indicate the coordinates of the point I'm hovering over. So right now it shows 0, 0, the origin. So I need to graph the vertex. So I'm going to go to negative 1 and then negative 9. Click that point. So now I have the vertex of the parabola. Now I have to graph a second point. And the instructions for this problem said to graph an intercept. And I found the y-intercept to be 0, negative 8. Click that point. And now you have your parabola. So if you're happy with it, you save it and then check the answer. Then we go on to part two that asks for the range. Well, the range of the y values, what's the smallest y value we come across as I come up from negative infinity? The smallest y value is negative nine, and there's a point there, the vertex. So I have to use a square bracket, negative 9, comma, and now my range is going to go all the way up to positive infinity, which you have to put a parentheses on. So now I can check the answer, 
and we got it right. <laughs>